Monitoring your air-fuel ratio with a wideband is one of the most important aspects of a properly operating engine. A ratio that's too rich will waste horsepower, and one that's too lean will cause certain destruction to your engine. Widebands can be overly complex to use and expensive, but now FAST has solved that problem by introducing their budget wideband gauge. Our street legal TV project, Rice Rat Rod, is a Nissan 240SX that's powered by a 400 cubic inch Dart small block Chevy. And while being a street strip car on a budget, we needed an air fuel ratio meter that was going to be easy on the wallet. The fast air fuel ratio gauge is just that. It's a simple to install and easy to read gauge that displays in real time. The gauge hooks up to a fast processor that relays the signal from the wideband O2 sensor mounted in the exhaust. For the installation, we went to our local Nissan performance shop, McKinney Motorsports. The hardest part of the installation was the drilling and welding of the O2 sensor bung. Before removing any exhaust components, we checked the location of where we wanted to mount the O2 sensor in the exhaust. FAST recommends installing the sensor before the catalytic converters for a more accurate reading. With the O2 sensor installed, we began routing the wiring for the processor. FAST provides more than enough wiring to allow you to route the processor wherever preferred. Simply slide the processor harness into the O2 sensor harness and flip the gray latch to lock it in place. The only task that remained was the wiring. The gauge comes with its own plug that gets connected to the wires on the processor. Going for an extra clean and durable connection, we soldered all our connections and covered them in shrink wrap. The wiring includes a 12-volt switch, 12-volt constant, illumination, ground, and signal wire. Running out of places to mount gauges, we placed the fast meter in the pocket below the stereo. After a couple of seconds of waiting for the O2 sensor's internal heater to warm up, we fired up the car. It was a pleasing sight as our idle air fuel ratios were floating right on target in the 14 to 1 area. After only a few simple hours installing our fast budget wideband sensor, we were able to increase our drivability around town. Not only did we improve our project car's performance, but we also kept some money in our pockets.